We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Abdul Karim Sumaila, who is Secretary General of the African Telecommunications Union. Mr. Sumaila, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. It's for me to thank you for giving me some opportunity to speak on behalf of the African countries. I'd like to ask you, we are two days into the conference now, what are your first impressions of Wicket 2012? Well, I think uh, is my impression is always the same. We think that if it's a conference, it will be happening, and we think it will be end in the same way that's always the conference. So there is no thing so new, there is no surprise. It should be like all the conference. What are the major challenges at the moment facing the African region in terms of telecommunications? I think the first challenge for us is always uh, now is the accessibility. Because we will think our population, yes, the, the telecommunication penetration is growing, but it's still under the, 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 the I mean, that is the, the estimation that we need to be before 2015, what we call to, uh, to reach the Millennium Challenge issue. And what do you think are the major concerns that you'd like to see addressed here, or that your, your, your members would like to see addressed here? Well, in uh, this uh, ITR. Yeah, I think the major concern is for us, we think uh, uh, this, uh, the, the current ITR is already did a lot of things in terms of uh, innovation, in terms of conversation of technology. But it's time to update the ITR also in order to take account the new landscape of the ITR, of, I mean the new technology. And are you hopeful for the outcomes of this conference? Yes, of course, we think that the outcome of the conference will be very good and it should be for us what we intend to see, the equitability of accessibility. So you're optimistic for the future of telecommunications in the African region? I, no, we are very, very, very optimistic because Africa is one of the most continent, of the continent where the, the penetration is always going, growing quickly, more than all other regions. So I think for us, the, the, the market is there and we believe that uh, we are going to achieve a lot of things in terms of uh, deployment because our goal now is the broadband issue. And what is the situation with regards to broadband in the region? Yes, the situation is about and broadband we can say that's very low because most of our population now what they have is always voice. The deployment on broadband is too low and this is a political issue that I think all African countries are going to look and change the strategy to push telecom operators to invest in the broadband. And what's your vision for the future in terms of telecommunications for Africa, do you think? I think our vision in telecommunication is always, uh, as you said, is very good. We think that we're going to achieve because as, as, uh, what we do, what we think, we always liberalize our market and all the investors are invited to come and invest in Africa. We save the investment. We think that we liberalize, we create the condition to invest in Africa. Smile. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. It's me too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.